Miss Poe's Physics Final by Daniel Cohen. Period 5. Circuits and Ohm's Law. We are, yeah, I said it, we are. This is Physics Nation. Learn your formulas, turn your circuit switches on. All electric, everything. Electric current, electric bulbs, all electric, everything. And our circuit series, flowing with their steady amps. I'll get more in depth and we'll become physics champs. Yeah, we'll become physics champs. This is Ohm's Law, it's quite simple. V equals IR, that's the whole principle. Yeah, that's the whole principle. I'm a couple amps down and I'm trying to get back. Add some more volts while you listen to this rap. Don't forget about Kirchhoff. Without him, it wouldn't flow. Back to running volts to these circuits. Now let's go. What is a circuit? What makes up a circuit? How many parts are there to a circuit? To have a circuit, you need four special parts. A bulb is always a good place to start. Next, you need insulated wire so you don't start a fire. You need a power source to start the fun. Then add a switch, and now you're done. That's a circuit. How do I solve for a circuit? What's the difference between parallel and series? Is the equation the same? How do I find resistance? Solving for a circuit is no special occasion. V equals IR, that's the main equation. For series, there is one rule of thumb. Total resistance is equal to the sum. For parallel circuits, it's a bit more serious. We use reciprocals and it's not too mysterious. Next what? First take one and put it over each value. Then make sure to find the sum, so you won't be looking dumb. Take the reciprocal of this number, and then you're done. Now you have total resistance. Wasn't that fun? Those are circuits. Series and parallel. Now you know how to find resistance. Go solve for some circuits.